Hello everyone, my name is Caden Herring and I'm a consultant at Encryption Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to sign ClickOnce manifests with Visual Studio. So let's get into it. So in order to sign a Visual Studio project with ClickOnce, we're going to need to do a few things first. If you're using our code signing solution CodeSign Secure, you can download our signing KSP from the CodeSign Secure website right here and install it. All you have to do is launch the installer and it automatically installs the files it needs for you. The default location is usually right here. Windows, Program Files, Encryption Consulting, and Signing KSP. This is the main command we're going to be dealing with. Okay, so now that we have our Signing KSP downloaded, we're going to open an admin command prompt and type one command in order to import the certificate that we need. So, make sure that you're running these commands from the path that the Signing KSP is signed. In this case, the default directory is Windows, the C drive, Program Files, Encryption Consulting, and then Signing KSP. The main command we're going to be running is this, the ec get cert command. This is what's going to download the certificate.pem file to this location. So we're going to go ahead and type that command, ec get cert.exe, and then we're going to paste the name of our certificate we're going to import. In this case, the name is this. So click enter, and then you see right here it says it's saved successfully, the cert.pem file, and you can see right here. So now we have to actually import this certificate to the store. And to do that, we're going to go to our cert manager. We're going to go to personal certificates. And then right here, we're going to right click and click all tasks and then click import. All right. Then we're going to go through the import process right here. Just click next. And then right here where it says file to import, click on browse. It's already going to the uh, same directory right here. And then right here, click all files and then navigate to the .pem file that you just downloaded and open that next. Leave this as default, it's going to the personal store, and then finish. Import was successful, and then you see it shows up right here. So now that we have the certificate all good to go, now we can publish our project with click once. So let's go to Visual Studio, and then I already have this testing project pulled up. We click publish, and it brings up this screen right here. Add a published profile. And then we choose click once. Next, leave this as default. Same thing with this, and same thing with this. On this page, the signing manifest, you're going to click this and then select from store. And then our certificate that we just imported pops up and then we click OK. And we could also click here for the certificate properties. We can see how everything is matching up. We have all the information and we're all good to go. Then we click OK. It just populates the information right here and then we click next and then leave this as default and then finish. And then it creates the profile and the publish process is underway. So that's how you publish Visual Studio projects using ClickOnce profiles. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, or you can contact us at info at for more information.